when it comes to tornadoes here in Duluth. So again, yesterday, Duluth was under a tornado warning, and that does not happen often. In fact, it's very rare around here that Duluth is under a tornado warning. The last time that this happened was August 3rd, 2005, so nearly 20 years it has been since we've seen a tornado warning in Duluth. If you're wondering if we've seen tornadoes actually touch down in Duluth, Yes, we actually have a couple of times, as a matter of fact. Duluth has had two tornadoes officially back in 1958, a weak tornado. Uh, the ratings were a little bit different back then, but likely pretty close to an EF0 tornado. In 2012, we had a weak water spout making its way onto land, crossing the Minnesota Point, and that was also rated an EF0. So a couple weak tornadoes. You can get tornadoes anywhere around the world. Lake Superior does impact our severe weather every once in a while, but anywhere around the world, you can get tornadoes and Duluth is no exemption from that. So now what happens here? There's a couple tornado warnings yesterday. The National Weather Service is going to go out there, survey all those different tornado spots and look out for potential touchdowns, look at all the damage around the Northland. And this is going to take possibly a couple to a few days. They may have some information for us by the end of today, but it takes some time to go around all those different regions of the Northland and take the time to survey all those different areas of damage. They're looking at wind speed damage to confirm and determine the strength and the length of these systems and storms, whether it was straight line winds or whether it was uh, a tornado or anything like that. So it's going to take some time, but we'll eventually get those whether they're confirmed or not. High pressure bringing us much calmer weather here into the end of our week. We continue to see mostly clear skies. Now Saturday, we do still have some sunshine to be had, a very weak area of low pressure rolling through, and it's going to bring us a slight chance for a couple of rain showers, even a couple of thunderstorms, but at this time not expecting any severe weather. Sunday is going to be cooler. We're going to see some more sunshine as well, and those high temperatures near average for this time of year, getting back into the 60s. Similar story into our Monday. Timing wise for any showers here, so the bulk of today is beautiful. Tonight, if you have any evening plans, it's going to be a great night to be outside, outdoors. Clouds increasing a little bit here into our Saturday. A couple stray showers, otherwise partly cloudy. It's even mostly clear skies at times here into our Saturday. A stray shower or thunderstorm into our Saturday afternoon, pushing off to our east and then decreasing clouds again into our Saturday evening. So by no means cancel any outdoor plans. Just keep an eye on the radar. A slight chance for a stray shower where you live here into our Saturday. Sunday looking a lot calmer and looking a lot more clear as well when it comes to those clouds. Rest of the forecast, it's really not a whole lot to report here. We're entering a more drier period in our forecast. It's been relatively dry here for the past couple of months, and that's no uh, exemption here in the next week or so, week and a half, in fact. Not really many chances for some rain showers, some sunshine, cooler weather in store for us.